Tuesday night, Michael Baker was making dinner with his wife when his phone rang. At about nine o'clock, uh, my neighbor across the street pulled up, called me and said, hey, did you, are you aware that somebody broke out your car window? And I said, no, the car was parked right here facing that way. The vice president of the Twin Rivers Unified School Board walked outside to his car and found glass all over the street. The driver's side window was busted out. There was glass all inside the car, all outside of the car. Um, Open up the door and there was a note on the passenger seat that said, um, bring kids back. That note, he said, was written on an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper, which was folded in half. It was in all capital letters and two of the three words were misspelled. I knew it had to have been an upset parent and, and I get it, you know, parents are blaming teachers, parents are blaming the district, everybody's frustrated, it's just tough times. He said he called the Twin Rivers Police Department and then called the other board members to alert them. They're walking up to this car here. Later that night, across town in Rio Linda, board member Bob Bastian's home received some unexpected visitors too. His grandson Jason heard a noise outside at around 11.45. There was three guys, two of them stepped out of the car. One of them had a crowbar and a flashlight. The other one just had a flashlight and they were approaching my grandpa's car. Jason says they were wearing dark clothes, hoodies and white shoes. The car was parked about here, dark gray SUV four door and they, they started to walk up the driveway there. When they got halfway up the driveway, these motion sensor lights turned on. And that's when Jason says they turned around and ran back to their car. Every board member is doing everything they can, everything they can to open up those schools. But it has to be done right. Please do not take it out on the board members, the, the administration, or the teachers, or any of the staff. In Sacramento, Walter McCullough, KCRA 3 News. If you have any information about either of those attacks on Tuesday night, call the Twin Rivers Police Department.